Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Yale from Forex Pro International. Today, I'll just be doing a quick video on how to play around with the MACD, which is Moving Average Convergence Divergence. Now, this indicator is mostly misunderstood. People take it in the wrong sense, saying, ah, oh, that does work. Um, you can find all of this stuff free on YouTube and stuff like that. Yes, it is freely available on YouTube, but if you know how to use an indicator properly, then it will work for you. However, if you can't, obviously, then you're going to have negative effects on the trading as well. So I'll just be taking you guys through how I used to use it because now I just focus more on the price action side of things. Um, plus the strategy that I use because I do use different type of strategies for scalping and noting trading. So the strategies that I use don't really require the market, but it can be very useful for certain parts of the market. Okay. Now, let's say you're looking at a one hour time frame. You're looking at this. Okay, so this is one hour time frame. And you can see nicely here, we have this area at this high, as well as this area on the low. Okay, so on your chart, you see the high, you see the low. Okay, so anywhere in between here is, you could say, your ranging, and this would be overbought. Okay, meaning that the market is overbought and should turn back down and over here the market is oversold and should turn back around so you could label these as, as your zones but that i might touch on later on, uh, on, uh, on another video okay so now let's say you have your indicator inserted um, let me just try and see if i have a shortcut to actually just insert that so i probably go to indicators um, I think oscillators you'd have it here, you have that. Okay. Right, so you just leave everything, you have your fast EMA as 12 and your slow EMA as 26, and your MACD simple moving average as 9. So I'll show you what that basically means now. So it's based on the close. Okay, so, right, so that's fine. Um, see, it pops up here at the bottom, and you can just change the color of the histogram because I have a a white background you can change it to blue you can see over here the histogram um just make it a thick color i mean uh, thick with yeah so you can see hopefully a bit better all right now there's certain levels in the macd that you should be looking for as opposed to just following the trend with it. okay a lot of people use it in a, in a different sense in that when it crosses below a certain level they buy, I mean, like they sell, and then when it crosses above, they buy. Okay, so checking out this particular part over here. This is the histogram, this blue part, and this is the signal line on the MACD. Okay, now coming out of this over board level, so to speak, uh, you see that the market was at the extremes. Okay, so just like in it under indicator, the MACD does have extremes. Okay, so it does have extremes and those extremes actually measure more or less where the overbought and oversold might come in now as i said moving averages whatever indicator that you might be using is used purely as confirmation not as to give you directional bias or that sort of thing but that you establish yourself based on the movement of the candles and what you see okay so you can see over here firstly we have a nice resistance level okay this market um new chf hit once twice three four five times six times before it actually left right now within those five or six times you can see price just coming in pinning another pin and there's a pin right above here so it ended off from the pin bar a nice pin bar formation which is this candle Okay, so this is a pin bar, uh, selling pressure is too much and then price just collapsed back down. Okay, now obviously you're looking at that thinking to yourself, alright, if you have some sort of signal, that would be an entry signal. That's a simple entry signal, price, multi, um, this is a, what you call man, triple top high, yeah, triple top high, um, ended off in a pin bar, which is a reversal candle so and it 
that often then you can see this market collapse back down again okay now most of the time the map e what it does show as the word suggests convergence and divergence right so let's look at this example over here now we have price the market trending downwards you can see that clearly on the on the, on the candles and what happens over here is you can see that the histogram usually follows where the market is going so if it drops and dips low that's what it's going to do as well and it rises and that's also going to rise now this just signifies exhaustion or a possible reversal point okay now this is used as a reversal um, indicator this that's that's what i usually that's what i used to use it for just a reversal because people get the wrong perception of it saying okay when the MACD signal line crosses the zero line then you sell but if you did sell over here you can see clearly price first rallied up another 37 pips before it dropped back down you understand so that for me is the incorrect way for using the MACD okay so this is a better way for you to actually use it um, as a convergence divergence so when price seems like it's dropping down you can see this is a nice downward movement but on the MACD it's averaging higher closes so that's essentially something you'd be looking for is a reversal back into this particular range right so uh, moving back I'm trying to find something a bit clearer something like this okay so you can see this market at the extreme level you can see the the histogram just rallied up so when this signal line is within the histogram the market is still steady strong and then when it moves away the signal line moves away from the MACD pops back inside it just basically shows you that the, the, the strength of the of the trend is actually weakening and then when it restores again it basically does this it pops back inside the histogram now you can see market making higher highs over here However, on your MACD, it's showing you lower highs. Okay, so it's giving you lower highs, and you can even extend that down to here. Okay, although you can see a bit of, of, of downward movement over here, but in all essence, this is where the large movement actually happened. This is where the big movement happened. You can see the price clearly jumping higher. Although on the MACD it's showing no sign of extending this high that it placed just hence it's making lower highs. All right, so that would be the better application of the MACD if you had to use it. Obviously, I'd lean towards the side of saying that you'd more rather focus on um, you'd rather focus on price action. However, the MACD is a possible um, confirmation signal for you to actually enter or to give you a heads up whether the market will be reversed. Now it's applicable on all time frames, okay? So you can have a four hour time frame um, open up if you trade larger time frames, that could be ideal for you. However, the trades will run or span longer than your normal one hour, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever time frame um, that intraday trade is basically used. Okay, now the MACD, if you find that you have convergence or divergence on a larger time frame, that's, that's an even better signal. Um, as in this example over here, you can see this is a high, this is a high, high, and right here, you can see this is a high, this is a lower high. That is basically where you get your divergence from. Okay, so when price is going up and the market is, I mean, when price is going up, and indicator oscillator is, is pointing downwards that is divergence okay so um, it is pretty useful um, depending on your application of it um, obviously it's it's something that's pretty simple to use okay and people often like complicated things but in trading the less complicated your, your method methodology or just basically the way you trade is then 
easier your trading will be and the simpler it is going to be for you to actually execute. Unless, so, difference between a person who actually has a hundred rules than a person who has perhaps ten clearly defined rules. Alright, so, there's no ambiguity, there's no indecisiveness. You either enter a trade, you go into a trade once all those um, particular things set up or you don't take the trade. Yeah. Um, so yeah, um, go through to the blog www.fxpoc.co.za. Um, check out a couple of those articles that I did there, and hopefully you find this useful. I'll be taking, I'll be sending out a video um, every single day from now on, um, just basically um, normal stuff and a bit of the stuff that I use in my trading. So, alright, cheers.